Hey everyone, it's Half Dude. Welcome back to uh, the Crystal Key. Uh, last time, I turned on some power. I got shot. Huh? Doesn't look like I'm dead though. Looks like I'm being dragged on the ground. Motion throw. Hey, buddy, you gonna let me out? Oh, I guess not. All right. And like I said, if we did not get that multi-tool in the previous area, uh, Osgar would be successful, and we would be stuck in here forever, or until he decides to execute me. But luckily I didn't, so we're not screwed. A rusty ship. You know, for being a tyrannical uh, warlord, he actually, this isn't too terrible a sell for, you know, he gives me a toilet and a sink, and a pillow. <laughs> it's not too bad. I mean, if if he wanted to, he could just throw me in a box. Uh, anyway, one fatal design flaw is you actually put a maintenance panel inside the the uh, cell. Where do we get to use my little multi-tool? Comes fully equipped with two modes. Mode one, some powerful cutters. Useful for circumcisions. Yeah. The other one is a nice settling torch. That is what we are going to use to fry off these bolts. Here we go. <sighs> oh my god, I'm, in I'm invisible. and put a, some kind of security thing in here. Good thing we got cutters. This is the, as if it'll go. Oh, I think it was going for a second. <laughs> yes, there it goes. I right, just took a second, I guess. <laughs> just enough fuel for for that one job. That would have sucked if it ran out like with one more bolt left. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cut you so good. Snip. Toss it away. You don't need you anymore. Alright, I'll manually operate it. I hope my friend isn't waiting out there guarding us. like a drive through window. <laughs> I'd like a cheeseburger, please. I'll go down here. Oh, another drive through window. This must be window one. Oh, no, there's pipes in there. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I don't look there's anything over there. 
over here, so this area is pointless. Just more cells. So it's kind of hard to tell if we're doing good or bad on our mission. I mean, for one, we're captured, but we have found Osgar. And a small bit of comfort is I think we're on his mothership, so. And the mothership is known to be orbiting Earth, so hey, we're. We're near Earth. We're near home. That's good. Is that a mirror? Or... I think that's a reflection. I can't tell. Can't go any further though. Could be a glass glass door for all I know. Can't go that way. But there it is this way to go back here. So let's see what's over here. Wonderful run into Osgar, huh? Let's go up. Whoa. What is all that? <laughs> it's like a bunch of fans or something? Guess it gets hot up here. This spaceship is cool, I mean, look at that. It has some cool ominous lighting. Earth. Hey, Earth. So, uh, yeah, that's Osgar, or at least his hand. Uh, he's a telepath, so he can fry your mind just by willing it. So, with that being said, we should probably get out of here. In case we didn't know, that is the door opening, uh, so we better duck out of the way. <laughs> it's a little framey, but that was Osgar. His little floaty chair, which I'm assuming he's levitating with his mind. Hey, let's follow him. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, what is all that? That pipes? I guess we won't know. We're not going that way. <laughs> Ooh, it's like spiders. Duck in here. Let's see what's in here. Got a control panel or something. I guess this is Osgard as Oz, Osgornian. Huh. Fascinating. Alright, let's go check that door. Hopefully Osgard doesn't decide to come back out right where to right in front of him. This is his personal quarters. Very roomy. Alright, well, let's get out of here. I haven't gone down yet. Yep, there's the fans. Up anymore, so let's go down. Ooh, computers. 
tells me this is the military deck. Well, what it really is, well, it might be that too, but it's also the flight deck. This, this space ship comes equipped with its own Star Wars style uh, in-ship flight deck. And well, uh, well, let's go ahead and save. saved. Huh. That's a weird way to do it, but okay. So, looks like a great is over here. Let's go this way. It's like a supply room. Can we go in here? Yes, we can. Cool looking box. Maybe it has like a BFG in it or something. Is that a ladder? <laughs> I guess even aliens need ladders. nothing in here, but it's kind of cool. Sphincter, sphincter doors. And see what I tell you? Doesn't that look like it's ripped right out of Star, Star Wars? <laughs> cool ass ship, though. Look at that. It's all chromed out. Must have uh, all the other ships out orbiting Earth or something, getting ready for an attack. And there's the flight control. There's the door. We're in a big ass room. One of the guys in there are like, who is that in there? He's not supposed to be there. And now we're gonna do probably the coolest thing in this game. And we are going to totally jack one of Osgar's troop transports. how to open a door. Looks like the codes to open the outer doors two blue, nothing in the middle. That's good to remember. Right, let's go inside. What are these are? I think what we strap into or something or here. I think this is the radio room. Oh, no, this is the troop room. Here's where you strap in. Very neat. <laughs> it's got like roller coaster things that go over your legs. <laughs> Looks like some kind of radio room back there. Can't go back there though. It's a pretty big ship. Makes it all the more satisfying to steal it from Osgar. Looks like 
there's a door up the top there, and it goes to like a gunner position or something. Forward door. Oh, and I'm sorry, this is the radio room. And it's navigation back there or something. And it looks like to open this door, it's a one blue, one yellow, and they're across from each other. Let's see what's in here. Looks like the door. And here's the control computer, which it just shows space bar on the screen. And you got a bunch of torpedoes too. Look at that. Space torpedoes. Maybe they're uh, proton torpedoes. <laughs> now we better get this ship moving before someone notices I'm here. to this cool ass deck. A bridge, I mean. Those satellites that were mentioned in the opening video that are causing all the all of that terror on Earth. Now, this is another important part that you better not have missed or else you're stuck here. Uh, you remember when we first started the game and you had the coordinates for the planet we crashed on on your computer? Well, we need to enter those same coordinates into this uh, ship so we can go back to the gate world, gate gatehouse world. Luckily, I have them written right here. And luckily for us as well, even though these are in a different language, uh, they're laid out the same as a phone. So it is two, no, oh, two, eight, five, zero, one, six, nine, zero, nine. Let's take off. Let's take this baby away. Well, oh, they even had a crosshair on the on the screen. That was cool. This is the only planet we see from space. That ship sure is a lot quieter than mine. Oh boy. To change discs again. Osgar special. He gets his own disc. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully that ship doesn't have any. Uh, tracking devices on it. <laughs> uh, I guess it doesn't matter since we've already taken the crystal key for ourselves anyway. So all he's going to do is waste his time. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, oh! Uh, hello! <laughs> ship is looks a little nicer when it's actually light outside that all those guys back at the mothership were just freaking out like oh my god one of our ships just got stolen <laughs> creepy ambience So now I think we just need to get focused on getting back to the desert planet because now we turn on the power, so there should be more we can do out there. And 
Here's that nice peaceful music. There's our ship up there. We landed right behind it. <laughs> This black evil ship looks, it looks so out of place in this nice heavenly valley. Pretty cool ship though. Yeah, it looks so out of place here. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and walk around my ship. Or run around it. Uh, Osgar's ship and my ship can be friends now. I just gotta retrace our steps a little bit. this plan before they decided to come and try to find their ship. Hey books, hanging out. I should have saved all that talking I did at the beginning of the video for right now. And I'm almost there. Back to my favorite music area. Yes, probably you don't even barely hear it. Use our crystal key. Oh. Hey, jumper cables. How you doing? Jitter, 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 jitter. And there's that valley. A little gully, like I was saying. so choppy right there. Someone wasn't there in their job that day. Alright. So I think the first thing we should probably do is try to go in the mines because that's the only place we couldn't go into. and see what we could find. It is where the Arcanian, Arconians were focusing most of their efforts anyway. So there should be some useful stuff in here. thinking like maybe there's a story attached to why this render is so bad. Maybe like they're trying to ship the game out and they're like, oh crap, we gotta do one more render real quick. Let's put the render settings on low so we can get it done quick in time. <laughs> Broken light. I wonder if like a guy, some scientist was running down here and Osgar's troops were shooting at him and knocked down that light. Oh, where, where the heck am I going? Uh, 
someone forgot to add a sound effect there. <laughs> and see, all the video is really bad when you're moving around down here. This must have been one of the last, or either the first, areas they worked on, where they like had time constraints or something. <laughs> yeah, so, here we are in the chasm, and there's a kind of a mining lift down here. I need to go up here and switch the tracks, though. See what I mean about this game having tons of creepy ambience? Very oppressive game sometimes. Damn, that was loud. Looks like that can hold a lot of miners. It's only gonna need to hold me now, though. down here. Ooh, look at that. Looks like there's something down here. Stop moving now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh, it's so dark down here. I feel like a big monster is just gonna run out of the shadows, try to eat me. All right. Well, here's a big generator. So I think that's where we should start. set to do what you don't even know what we're trying to do. Well, let's just say, um, if you needed any more proof of my uh, hypothesis that this planet used to be mostly water, uh, there's actually still water. It's just deep underground now. And this is a submarine. for a dive. Rock! 
Fox. Well, that might seem like it was a big waste of time, but you remember what I told you? Remember what I told you? Minerals on this planet are highly cool. You know, they do lots of good stuff. They have a uh, very high um, uh, electromagnetic properties, if I remember right. It looks like that's another submarine they took apart for parts. There's two of them over here, isn't it? In the back of another one. Oh, okay, I guess I'm gonna go all the way up here. So what I mean? It's like sometimes you walk so far in one click. It's like, oh, I want to explore more. Don't leave me. Can you leave already? Alright, well, I guess we got my rocks, so we'll go back. Take these rocks, and we gotta feed them to the refining machine uh, in the little uh, laboratory building on the surface. So let's go do that now. I wondered that they add a closing sound effect to that door. Ah, oh, they did. <laughs> I seriously didn't know or not. I, they just answered my question. I didn't know what was going to... <laughs> Unintentional! This is probably the coolest part of the whole game, in my opinion, using this machine. I don't know, I guess I just like assembly machines. I just remember when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I thought it was so cool. Because I didn't figure out how to turn on the power for a long time. I was like, oh, nothing works. And then finally, when I came back and all the power was on and all the lights were on, I thought, ooh, this place brimming with life. That's so cool. I get my favorite ambience again. There's the tower out there. only shot on that one side. <laughs> yep, see? All the power's on. All the lights are on. All the lights on the circuit boards. And look, even this monitor is on now. It's cracked. So it's just showing some mountains. There's a, a plateau we're on, I'm assuming. They even got a wireframe. Oh, I don't want to leave. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> cool. The lights are on in here. It's just so satisfying just seeing all the power on. It's like you bring this dead building back to life. So let's process some of these rocks and see what happens. Oh, I guess I gotta select the rocks first.
Flunk. players I haven't played this game will probably be like, okay, what the hell do I do now? Well, luckily I already know. So here's what I'm going to reveal. A big plot point. For, for this game, it's a big plot point. Um, some of the scientists, we don't know how many, uh, managed to escape by using some of their superior um, technology. And they managed to escape to a part of the, a remote part of the cave system, and uh, we're gonna find that right now. I won't spoil the surprise. I'll just leave you wondering. But it does have to do with this spot right here. You remember all these puddles? Bleh. Let's toss a rock in there. what you'd expect, right? <laughs> There's quite a few puddles up here. Splash, I'm taking a bath. Yeah, that pre rendered ripple effect. <laughs> oh wow, the camera freaked out again. Whoop. Let's try this one. No splash! Well, let's see if it likes coins better. Ah, it's a secret passage. How about that? And we come to a big ass door. making that image though up there. Could it be a jibbo? It is. Alright, well, enough being funny. This is a holographic projector. Very cool. And it's actually easily easy to use too. Doesn't look like we can take it with us though because there's a screw holding it down, unfortunately. Guess we'll have to find a screwdriver. So, if you push this button, it's portraying, or it's projecting the image. Pretty cool. But the other cool thing about this thing is it can change the holograph on the fly, thanks to a built-in camera. Neat, huh? So now if we were going to turn it on, you would see, uh, instead of a puddle, can't really see from this side because it's only 
one way, but you pretty much see the whole opening turn into cement <laughs> or whatever that thing is the thing is sitting on. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, it even plugs into a simple wall outlet. And why did I do that? Well, little known fact, big ass metal doors do not like electricity. And here's where my friends, the uh, jumper cables come in handy. It was so fun figuring this stuff out for the first time. I was like, what the hell am I doing? Red means positive. Alright, Mr. Door, I'm going to induce you to your worst enemy. software was fail and cut off about nine minutes of my into my recording so had to backtrack a little bit and we'll catch up right where it le left off and uh, I'll try to make sure I don't miss out on any of the information I gave in the last recording without feeling forced so anyway let's go ahead and go inside here mm, and look caves nice crystal clear water what sounds like a uh, happier version of the theme from outside. Let's continue on. This must be where the scientists fled to. Don't you know it? It's a new day. It's the next day and I still have a headache. I got another freaking headache. Chronic headaches all the time. Jeez. Anyway, it's a nice little portal room. You can see another slip gate there. Destination is. And 
moment. Not to spoil anything, but he threw it over here. Somewhere over here. But we can't get down because I'm a pussy. So let's go get something to climb with, huh? Though I don't know how he took out the crystal and threw it away, but was still able to use the teleporter to escape. Doesn't really make much sense. Unless he stayed behind and sacrificed himself. I guess that's a possibility. So I don't really see any other way. Unless he stayed here, I don't see any other way. Because he wouldn't have been able to use the teleporter. So here we get our little friends, the jumper cables. Little known fact, jumper cables are very useful for climbing with. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I apologize for my web camera constantly trying to autofocus in the last video. I didn't know it was supposed to, it would keep doing that. So hopefully I fixed that. I, I unchecked the box, but I don't know if it, the option stays checked or not. I also turned on the lights so you guys can see me. <laughs> It's less immersive for me, but it's uh, probably better for you guys. Damn, that's loud. Surlon. See you next time.